ever since day one, the mission has been very clear and simple. It's keep the world's knowledge safe. Allow people to speak clearly and freely, not just today, but over time as well. Our weave gives us the right to be remembered, not to be forgotten, but remembered. To me, that's profound. Knowledge is, is an interesting thing. If you're the only person that knows one thing, there's not a lot you can do with it. But if you have a whole community that has that knowledge, then innovation becomes really, really rapid. And if you combine that with solid principles, which Arweave does, you have the opportunity to make the world a better place. All sorts of different people, people that are technical, people that aren't technical. The idea is that all those things, when they come together, they really make something special and unique. The Arweave community are some of the smartest people that I've ever had the pleasure of working with. They rally around these causes, like this idea of treating the internet as just this public data lake that anyone can upload their content to. And in viewing that content, it's not beholden to any one particular platform. Arweave is an opportunity for us as a civilization to have a place to store not only our most important memories, our most important documents of our civilization. Arweave provides something that previously was not possible, and that's permanent storage and a decentralized network that supersedes jurisdiction and that supersedes the timeline of our own individual lives. I can upload data, pay once, and it's there for my great, great, great grandkids to see in the future. That's just something that's very wild. These are not numbers. These are individuals. These are individuals with their own perspectives, their own emotions, their own fragilities, and their own questions. And I think that when one enters the ecosystem that is our weave, and I feel like many experience this, there's a real direct connection and a real humanness. Everyone just recognizes that we're all standing on the shoulders of giants and we're composing layers upon layers of tooling that just is all moving towards the central goal of just building better software. Arweave is an opportunity to connect. It's an opportunity to time travel and it's an opportunity to be in a very thought-provoking and thoughtful community and ecosystem. Every time that we come to a real world event, it's just like, oh man, finally we're going to meet each other. There's, there's people that after years of working with them, I'm still meeting for the first time. We work in a very remote community, so it's always nice to see some friendly faces and exchange ideas in person. I think it's always a bit richer, and I think our team would agree with this as well. It's always nice coming back to these events and every time seeing new people merging the ecosystem and bringing their own new ideas to it. We're uncovering like things every day of how can we, you know, inch our way over here, inch our way over here into like these new kind of things that we can kind of attach to this world. I feel like I've met everyone virtually, um, but to see everyone in person and obviously it's so much excitement around AO and to be in person and experience that together has been really awesome. The protocols that we build are inherently abstract, but the things that we build on top of them make them easy to use. We call it hyper parallel compute because of the architecture is actor oriented. Each process passes messages in AOS, the AO operating system, which really makes it easier for developers and users to interact with the AO network. A logical next step to build computation on a verifiable data ledger. It's scalable, it works, so let's put computation on top of it. Just a logical next step. I imagine what happens 100, 200 years down the line when we have all of the world's knowledge in this machine that keeps it safe for us, basically. How do we build the archive of the world's history? I think long-term, fundamentally, what we built is just a decentralized operating system for a machine of arbitrary size that is the best effort possible that we can conceive of right now, and we've really flourished over the years, and I'm very, very grateful for the community that's emerged around it.